In this problem, we have an infinite series, and we're asked to use the limit comparison test to determine if the series converges or diverges. So when you're using the limit comparison test, the first thing you want to do is find your comparison series. So you start by finding what's called b sub n. So you look at this piece here, and then to write down b sub n, the trick that usually works is you just find something from this. So you can write down the 3 if you want to. I'll write it. And then on the bottom, just look at the highest degree term. So 8 to the n has the highest or growth rate, rather. The 1 is irrelevant. So you basically look at like the leading terms. Okay, So it's just that over that. So say you had, I don't know, n squared plus 1 over n cubed plus 2. That in this case, your b sub n, you would just look at the leading terms. So n squared over n cubed, so just 1 over n. Okay, so that's pretty much how you always can get your leading terms. Not always, but most of the time, um, this will work. All right, so now what you do is you have to take the following limit. Take the limit as n goes to infinity of, this is your a sub n, of a sub n over b sub n. And if this limit is finite and positive, then we can use the limit comparison test. So this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity. So I'll go ahead and write down a sub n, so 3 over 8 to the n plus 1. And then we're dividing by b sub n. So when you divide by b sub n, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So times 8, over n, 8 to the n over 3. And you see this limit is just going to be 1 because it's 3 times 8 to the n over 3 times 8 to the n. So the growth rates are exactly the same, which is finite. And positive, right? That's the hypothesis. That's the one of the criteria for the limit comparison test. So LCT applies. So the limit comparison test applies. So it's really important to go through this when you're uh, using the limit comparison test. Always construct your b sub n, which is something that should have the same growth rate as this. Then verify that it has the same growth rate by taking this limit, right? That's what this limit is saying. If this limit is equal to 1, that means that a sub n grows at the same rate as b sub n. So now, because the limit comparison test applies, what this means is that the sum of the a's will behave the same as the sum of the b's. So if this series converges, then the sum of the b's will also converge. If the sum of the b's diverges, then this series will also diverge. So they will behave the same. So now we have to look at the sum of the b's. So note, let's go ahead and write it down and think about it. So this sum here, starting at 1 to infinity, of 3 over a to the n. So what is this? Well, we can rewrite it as follows. This can be written as 3 times 1 over a to the n. And this can be written further in another way. So this is actually 3 times parentheses 1 over 8 to the... So you see, this is a geometric series. So this is a convergent geometric series because R here is 1 eighth. And if you take the absolute value of that, you still get 1 eighth, so, and that's less than 1. So R is less than 1 in absolute value. Notice I didn't write the absolute value because it's already positive. So converges by the geometric series test by the GST. Okay, so what have we done? Let's recap from the very beginning because there's a lot of steps here and the logic is really important. It's really important to actually understand what's going on. So we have this infinite sum here and we're being asked to determine if it converges or diverges using the limit comparison test. So we've, step one is to find b sub n. So b sub n, you can get it just by dividing. Just look at the leading terms. Then you take this limit here. If you get a positive number, so you say it, which is finite and positive. So we can use a limit comparison test. So that says that the sum of the a's will behave the same as the sum of the b's, which is down here. If we look at the sum of the b's, we determine that it's a convergent geometric series. Therefore, the sum of the a's, which is our original series, will converge also by the limit comparison test. So thus, our original series, let me just say our OG, OG means original, our OG series, converges by the LCT. The limit comparison test is really easy to use in the sense that you don't have to create an inequality. 
So if you ever have to use like a direct comparison test and you don't want to, you can use limit comparison test. The big downside with limit comparison, in my view, is all of the writing you have to do to explain what's going on, right? You have to first come up with your B sub N, right here, your B sub N. Then you have to take your limit. You have to say it's finite and positive. So LCT applies. Then you have to look at this sum, the sum of the Bs, and figure out what's going on here. If this thing converges, then the answer to your question is converges because it'll converge by LCT. If this thing diverges, then the answer to your original question is diverges because it'll diverge by LCT. A lot of information in this video, lots of good mathematics. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.